Hey everyone, it's Friday. Welcome back. Today, Mario and I, we're going to bust a major relationship myth. And this myth is one that I actually get angry about. Because this myth has kept so many people thinking that they cannot have or somehow don't deserve to have great, positive, loving, romantic relationships with great, loving partners. Okay, and the myth is this. The myth is that neuroses or so-called personality problems or even diagnosed mental disorders ruin relationships. That if you have anxiety or if you have depression or social, social phobia or any number of other challenges like that, that somehow that means that you can't have or don't deserve to have a positive, loving, romantic relationship. That is absolute crap. Complete bunk, totally bogus. In fact, according to Dr. John Gottman, research has found only the most tenuous and weakest of links between what he calls run-of-the-mill neuroses and failing at love. Here's the thing. A successful, happy, romantic, committed relationship is not depend on you finding or being normal, right? It's about finding someone that you mesh with. Right? We all have our own idiosyncrasies. We all have our own patterns and habits and, and things that we deal with, our own challenges. And those things, we can deal with them. We have tools for, for fixing them if that's what you want to do, if you want help with that. We can work around them. It's, it's finding that person that can work with these things, right? And, and if you have, even if you have stronger challenges, yeah, those may be deal breakers, for a relationship with somebody that we thought we wanted a romantic relationship with, but if it's a deal breaker for that person, then maybe that's not someone we want a relationship with, right? And if it is, maybe it's something we can fix. Maybe it's something we can, we can look at and there's tools for it, right? But whatever it is that we have, that thing doesn't prevent us from having relationships and it doesn't mean we don't deserve relationships, okay? And I know, and this is this is another thing that gets me upset. I know that there are some of you out there right now saying, yeah, but, you know, yeah, normal people have things that you can work around or normal things that, that they can deal with, but I have X, I have depression, I have anxiety, I have whatever it is that your thing is that you have, and that's far more serious than what other people deal with. And you know what? Maybe it is, but it doesn't mean that it can't be dealt with. It doesn't mean that you don't deserve good relationships, right? And there are even some of you out there that are in bad relationships, relationships where they're, you're being taken for granted, where you're being neglected. You might even be being abused, and you're probably saying to yourself, you know, I know it's not perfect, and sometimes it's actually even crappy, and it might be even most of the time it's crappy. But during the good times, those are really, really good times, and... I really love this person. Yeah, they might not be perfect, but with my thing, this is the best I can hope for. This is the best I deserve. And I am here to tell you, if that's you thinking that way, you are absolutely wrong. There is no reason you can't or shouldn't have a great, positive, supportive, romantic relationship with someone who loves you and treats you the way that you should be treated. If you are in a crappy relationship and you want to get out of it, or if you're in an okay relationship, or even a great relationship, and you'd like to strengthen it, or even if you're not in any relationship at all, but would like to be, and would like to find a good one, if you're in any of those situations and you would like help, email me, jwillard at changemylifecoaching.ca. I will give you a free 15-minute coaching session on the phone. We will get you on the right track. All right? Awesome. We are going to be back next week with more videos. Please be here. Please bring a friend. Like and share this video with the people who are most important in your life that could benefit from being part of this conversation. We will be back. We will see you next week. And until then, live your best life today.